Welcome back to another tutorial for Viacom and using it with DCS World. In this case, we're going to be using um, Case 3 operations and we'll be looking at using EBOS Case 3 with a little trick to force uh, the DCS supercarrier to give us the ACLM mode in the Hornet. So firstly, um, let's look at some commands that are available. So we're going to the Editor tab here. I've got one up, which is Skipper Start Case 3. So that will trigger Airboss into commencing, turning the boat into wind and commencing Case 3 recovery operations, regardless of the weather. So we don't need it to be nighttime. We don't need the weather to be less than 1,000 foot cloud base and less than 5,000 metres vis. We just can start it. And it's a good way, it means you can practice when it's not the weather's not so bad down low and if the light's fading and things like that. So we set that up by start case three. The other important one here is um, if we look in the Airboss specific ones, we have um, Airboss mother comms check just to make sure that radio frequency is using. But the main one is Airboss Request Marshal. Now it has two aliases, Airboss Request Marshal, or we can say uh, Inbound Mother Request Marshal. And then they will clear us to the stack. So we'll hear me do that, and then I'll zip us into the stack, and then we'll configure the ACLM in the Hornet, and then we'll use some standard DCS calls, mainly uh, commencing and platform. So if we have a look at... Um, Platform is probably the main one because that's what triggers the ACLM on. So if we go down to platform, we can see that it is a AI comms carrier ATC platform. So it's, it's nothing to do with Airbus. It's just the standard DCS super carrier comms. All right, well, let's jump in and have a look and see how it all works. Right, I will get airborne, airborne here, and and we'll zip out to the case three holding pattern. The carry is recovering with case three operations, as you can see. It's not really case three, but airboss will do that. Pima salute, and where we go. Take it up to 500 feet and we will whip back out to 21 miles to enter the holding pattern for case 3. It's an offset recovery with a 30 degree offset, so it's recovering on 114 BRC, so that would be uh, 144. Um, we'll make a right turn to get back behind the carrier as quickly as we can and I'll teleport us up to 6,000, approaching the hold, and we will call inbound request marshal. So let's just do that now, and they'll tell us what the marshal pattern is, and um, we'll make our way there. So I've got marshal on 11, um, channel 11 com 2, so let's give mother a call, inbound mother request marshal. 5113. Expected PRC one one four degrees. Holding angel six. Expected Charlie time zero nine zero four hours. Altimeter two nine point nine two. Okay, let's make our way out to the Marshall pattern at six thousand. Um, I'm going to say we're cleared up to six thousand now, and we'll take it up and let's teleport ourselves up there. Okay, here we are at 6,000 feet, we're approaching the 21 mile Marshall stack out on the assigned radial, um, which is the uh, 324 radial, we're pretty much right on that now, and we should get a call from Mother telling Five, us one, one. we're in the holding zone, altitude is good. Alright, um, we need to do a little teardrop entry into this. 
should get cleared for recovery soon. Five, one, one. You're cleared for case three. Recovery. Okay, so we're cleared for case three. Approaching 24 miles. Let's turn back inbound. Got the speed coming back to 250 knots. Okay, the next stage is platform. Now, I've got the carrier's ATC frequency tuned up here, so I'm going to get the ACLM working on this. So, if we um, hit ACLM, and it's in test at the moment, let's get it around quickly on back onto the radio because we'll leave the corridor soon. Uh, 114 is, or 144 is our inbound. Fair bit of wind around to today. And we can see we've got ACL1 up there, so we know we've do got we have a signal on the data link in the ACLS, and we're just coming back onto the inbound radial now, and we are cleared to then descend to platform. So what I'm actually going to call is commencing, which is the standard DCS Viacom call. Commencing. One, one, radar contact, two, three miles. Expect final bearing, one, one, four. Okay, final bearing, one, one, four, as we suspected, and that's the DCS talking, not Airbus. And we're coming on that radial now, and we're going to descend to platform. So you can see the next command is 5,000, 4,000 feet per minute rate of descent. And let's head on down. So we are going to get rid of the barrow hold and it's 4,000 feet per minute rate of descent, 250 knots and we're coming in. Now if I said request commence to air boss, I'll get something different. So, proceeding initial. Roger, descend to platform. Okay, we've done that and we're down at the platform now. Um, and now we can descend on down on the inbound radial. We next command is down to 1200 feet. So if I say platform. Altitude. Altitude. Roger. Okay, so now it's saying descend to 1200, 2000 feet per minute. We'll need a bit more because we started a bit late. Um, so you can see we're sort of using both um, features, both Airboss and the DCS we see. But the interesting thing is we're using it um, by flying the Airbus pattern, but we're getting the advantages of having ACLS when we get down there. So I've got TACAN, ILS, ACLM on, and looking at 1,200 feet, and we want to be down there by 14 miles, and then we're going to start a right turn to intercept the 114 inbound. So I know I'm pretty good on that radial there now, so I'm going to select 114 on the inbound radial. There you go. And that sets me up for the next move at 14 miles. Which is to start our right turn to intercept that radial. And you can see we're obviously visual, so it's not really case three, we're just practicing. Um, and we're making Five, our one, one. back in the approach corridor, which is good. The idea is to just fly that arc around and get us on the 114 inbound at 1200.
best thing with using both of these at the same time is you get EBOS, which is, in my opinion, better, um, but you also get the use of the ACLM. So we're coming onto that radial now, and the next phase will be as we come around onto the dirty up at nine miles. Just keep it coming around. A little bit of wind, you can see that drift between the flight path marker and the heading. So I'm trying to allow for that to get us on the radial. And you can see we've got as we left the approach corridor. I don't know why. I think we're pretty much in it. Pretty much on that radial. I'll just come right a little bit. You can see that glide slope uh, localizer indicating we have a bit left. So nine miles, starting the dirty up. And we're taking the gear and the flaps to half. We're waiting for that glide slope to come in. Loves to fall. Now still got the autopilot engaged, so setting herself up for hands-off landing if we want to. And all I'd have to do is hit couple once we've got the ACLM in and locked. Hook would help. Thanks for flashing lights. Yeah, still a little bit of fly right there on the localizer should start getting the glide slope coming in soon there it is so we've got uh, right and up for our needles five, one, one. Five, one, five. okay five, one, one. Final radar contact. Six miles. okay so you can see the ACLM information coming five, in one, one. ACLS lock on Six miles, say needles. Needles. Five, one, one, concur, fly mode two. Okay, so the idea is now to fly the needles, and we're still using Airboss. So we've just got to fly up into that needle, getting a bit of home fuel there, we're 2700. This will be my last approach. As that glide slope comes down, we'll see the ACLM steering guide come down to match, and then we'll Five, one, one. One, one. Uh, the boss didn't give us platform, which is annoying. So I'll just stick with um, I'll stick with the DCS one, and then I'll flick over because we're not going to get an emboss grading um, for some reason. It skipped platform. I don't know why. And we might have been a little bit high crossing the platform, maybe. Alright, putting that flight path marker down to about 4.5 degrees to follow that um, ACLM guidance. And I'm going to try and couple it up now. So let's go autopilot and couple. We are coupled. Locked. And I'm going to turn the... Throttle, what am I? Throttle control, so we have ATC, couple, yeah. And we are now flying a hands off approach um, using Viacom. So we'll let it see, we'll see how it goes. You can 
So this is how I get case three running for practice um, when it's not really case three. Um, it's a pretty gloomy day, but it's not night time and uh, weather and conditions, you could easily get away with case one operations here, or at least case two. Uh, you can see the jet's doing a pretty good job at flying the case three approach. Five, one, one. I'm bypass. On course, three quarters of a mile. Call the ball. One at ball. And a little bit of bouncing around, it's holding it pretty well, flying the ACLM to touch down. Full thrust. Stop, three wire, well done. And Welcome aboard. Airboss 4.0. And the ship's stopping recovery. And 4.0. A little low at the arrival ramp. Uh, three wire. Alright, so there is a bit of a look at using Viacom um, with both Airboss and the uh, standard DCS carrier comms. Nine, nine, carrier starting turn to heading. Zero, three, seven degrees. The big thing um, to remember is um, you need to know the commands. It's really important. And as you can see, um, with Airboss running, it's controlling the carrier, which is fantastic. And we get the benefit of using ACLS still. Anyway. Uh, ACLM I should say. Thanks for watching and hope you enjoyed it.